Hey there everybody, Travis Bowman here with a little bit of a two-in-one review for you today. And we've got the Neo Geo CD on the table for discussion. Now in my opinion, the Neo Geo CD does not get enough love uh, for the collectors. It's mostly about the AES and MVS consoles, but in my opinion, Neo Geo CD is one of the best consoles ever out there. It's got a great library and admittedly, it does have some issues with some loading times, but with the Neo SD loader, you can load your games from an SD card and that experience is so much better. Now I did a video about the Neo SD loader in the past, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about controllers for the Neo Geo CD. Now one of the coolest things about this console is the controller. It's very iconic, a lot of people prefer this pad than the actual arcade stick that came with the other Neo Geo consoles. Now, uh, hopefully you can hear this on camera, but these clicky joysticks are just so awesome. And it's really like you're combining an arcade stick with a controller. I've never seen another controller quite like this. Uh, it's, it's really hard for me to imagine playing this console without this iconic controller with these four really large buttons, start and select, and your clicky joystick there. You don't really need much more than that for a great gaming experience on this console. So first things first, we're gonna talk about 8-Bit Do or 8-Bit Do's offering for the Neo Geo CD pad here. Now this is a kind of a reimagining of this controller that we all associate with the Neo Geo, but this time, it's wireless. Now it's got USB-C for your charging up top there. They've added some L and R buttons as well as some two extra buttons on the bottom for various other functions with your modern consoles. The two are very, very similar as far as the way that they're designed. I mean, they're pretty much the same sort of situation there um, with the obvious differences in our new newer controller here. When it comes to the Neo Geo stock controller, one of the main things that uh, have gone wrong over the years is the clickiness of your joystick. Uh, we've got the clickiness here. Now, if you recall the Neo Geo Mini, they actually had these uh, types of controllers, but the stick had no click to it, and a lot of people really didn't like that. 8-Bit uh, Do has added the clickiness back with these controllers here, which is a really, really nice addition. So, in my opinion, these two are very, very similar. The font on your ABCD is a little different, but, I mean, how, how nitpicky are we trying to be with this, really? Um, what we care about more often than not is going to be functionality. How do these things actually function? And for the most part, it's, it's a pretty, pretty authentic experience with this guy. Um, I will say that the travel distance before you actually reach the click on this new controller, it's just a hair longer. So I'll try to get a little closer here so you can really see what's going on. Now here's how much distance you have. I'm right here on top of that click and then, and then it clicks to the right there. Now this is the newer Neo Geo pad here from 8-Bit Do. And I'll do the same going up. See, there's a little bit of, of travel distance before you get to the click up there. Now let's look at the original pad that we've got here. Uh, it's just a hair sooner. I'm sure you can see that it's just a hair sooner getting to that click. Is it a big deal? Well, possibly. It really depends on the on the person, but that's the main difference that I've noticed in the two controllers is that that click is just a little bit, a little bit further off on this new controller. But honestly, when you're doing these uh, these uh, these quarter circles and stuff in all your fighting games, um, it 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 doesn't really make too big of a difference to me. You know, I've spent a lot of time with this controller, and I've had a lot of fighting game sessions with this on both the Neo Geo hardware as well as other things that we'll talk about here in a moment. But um, I really do love this controller. It's, it's fantastic. It is a, 
pretty much almost right there perfect authentic experience for your Neo Geo CD pad, except for one thing. With this controller, you get this really nice and probably somewhat familiar to uh, to most retro gamers at this point. It's the 8-bit do, 8-bit do wireless receiver uh, that you can plug into your PC or the, uh, the Switch. To be honest with you, we're not going to be talking about the Switch today because I just have no interest in using a controller like this with the Nintendo Switch. What I do have interest in is using it on the original hardware because if you're like me and you've got a lot of these retro consoles hooked up ready to go at any given time, the biggest issue you'll, you'll run into is disorganization with your controllers and having all of these cables run across the floor, you get them all tangled up and you have to figure out, do I want them out at all times? Do I have to put them away when I'm not using them? That's going to take extra time. You know, little nitpicky stuff like that that can really start to add up and become a little bit of an annoyance, to truth be told. So the issue that I'm having with this controller, and I, like I said, it's a nitpick. I can understand why they wouldn't do this, but they did not include a dongle to use on original Neo Geo hardware. And that's a huge bummer because that would have been a perfect controller if they had just included the original dongle for your Neo Geo. And I understand uh, not a lot of people have Neo Geo hardware in this day and age. And the, the people that do, they're extremely hardcore about it. I mean, if you get in some of these Neo Geo groups, these guys mean business. And uh, they mean money, too, because this stuff is not cheap, especially once you get into like the AES and the MVS and the games and all that good stuff. But the Neo Geo CD is kind of the lower echelon as far as how much this stuff is actually going to cost you long term, but that's beside the point. Um, so now we're trying to figure out a solution because this is such a perfect controller and it, we're so close. You know, I just want to be able to play my Neo Geo CD without having to worry about controller extensions. And that's something else that's a huge concern, believe it or not, with the original pad. Uh, this is a Japanese console. And it's going to be impossible for me to show you this on camera at this angle, but this cable is not very long at all. So in order to actually use this, I either A, have to sit extremely close to my television, or B, get an, a, a controller extension. Now, that might seem like the, the thing to do, but there's something to note about these controllers for your Neo Geo CD. You've got lots of pins going in and out of this thing, and uh, those controller extensions have been known to damage the port on your Neo Geo, because you can't really see it from this angle, but there are actual pins that are exposed inside of this port for your Neo Geo, and that's both on your AES, MVS, and of course your Neo Geo CD. So, yeah, you can get a controller extension for not that much money, like 10, 10, 15, 20 bucks or something like that, but you run the risk of potentially damaging some equipment that you cannot go to the store and purchase again. You have to get it on eBay or, or wherever else you find this kind of stuff out there. So that's a huge problem. This right here is a very popular adapter for retro gaming. This is the Brook Wingman. This one isn't for the Neo Geo, this particular one here. Um, I did have one though, I just don't have it with me anymore. I actually sold it off with a, a Neo Geo bundle, but this particular one is for the Dreamcast and for the Saturn, but uh, they actually do make the Brook Wingman adapter for Neo Geo consoles that allows you to hook up either a USB controller or a Bluetooth controller to your Neo Geo, and that's all fine and good and everything, but my big issue was I was trying to connect my Hori arcade stick up to the Neo Geo via USB right here, and it's not compatible. It's one of the few arcade sticks that are just flat out not compatible, so that's a bummer. That really sucks. And on top of that, the 8-bit do, 8-bit do, however you want to say it, the 8-bit do is not compatible, it, at least as of the making of this video in late 2023, it's not compatible with the Brook 
wingman adapter for the Neo Geo. At least they were nice enough to include the USB dongle, I, I suppose. But um, for the guys out there that are really into Neo Geo, I mean, I understand it's not a relevant console, but I mean, come on, the, the guys that made the, uh, the Saturn pad from, uh, uh, I think it's a Retrobit that made this guy, they included a USB dongle as well as a dongle for your Sega Saturn. And uh, if we're talking obscure consoles, I would say the Sega Saturn is probably one of those. You know, Neo Geo is also kind of in that category for the average gamer. So I don't know why they wouldn't include that extra dongle for your original hardware. So unfortunately, there, there aren't many options out there, but we do have a solution at this point. This is the Neo BT adapter from Blue Retro. Now this is one of uh, the adapters that will actually work with this 8-bit uh, do SNK Neo Geo CD pad. And I gotta tell you, man, it's awesome. It actually is so seamless. You just plug this guy in here, and you got this P right there for pair, and you plug this guy in, it's very seamless. This guy connects really, really nicely, and uh, I, I've, I've had no issues with it thus far. It, it connects just fine. Now, the other thing about this controller, which is really nice, and I'm, I'm really glad that they did this, on the back, you'll notice a little toggle switch there. This controller is actually compatible with 2.4 gigahertz wireless as well as Bluetooth wireless. Now, uh, some people might have an issue with the location of this toggle being on the back center there, because while you're playing, you know, your hands are, or your fingers are back here. But uh, in the heat of many, many fighting game matches, I've, I've never actually accidentally touched that toggle, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, uh, especially coming from me because I've got some pretty big hands, and I really grip this thing when I'm, when I'm playing. But um, anyway, so the idea with this Neo BT adapter, this Bluetooth adapter, um, you've got your two dongles now, the USB one and this guy for original hardware. So um, this is your 2.4 gigahertz. And I've always got this guy plugged into my PC because I frequent uh, this program, this wonderful program on the PC called Fightcade, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's arcade fighting games used in this program, you join a server, and you can play these arcade fighting games online with your friends or with random people. It's actually really cool. And it's been around for quite some time, and uh, what a great controller to use with such an application. And that's what I've been using this guy for. And like I said earlier, I've just got zero interest in using this on you know, PlayStation or Xbox or, or Nintendo Switch. I mean, I guess I could see the appeal for some people, but it just doesn't make too much sense to me. I mean, this is a very specific controller for a very specific style of game and time, you know? This is such a 90s Neo Geo controller, you know? I mean, I can't imagine using this with too much of anything else except Soul Calibur VI on Steam, on PC. I have been using this controller quite a bit with that game, and let me tell you, it is fantastic. It runs so good with this controller. I mean, the inputs, everything is all perfect. You got your four face buttons and the clicky stick. I really, really wish this was utilized in other technology outside of SNK and Neo Geo because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the PlayStation D-pad. Xbox has never been a good D-pad solution for, for, for fighting games. And uh, Sega's long gone, so... It, it would just be nice to have a solution like this instead of just a regular old analog stick. I think this technology is brilliant combining the use of your arcade stick with an actual game pad here. And uh, bravo to 8-Bit Doe for, for putting this together. Um, there are some, some issues. Like I said, it would be nice to have a dongle for your original hardware with this. I can't imagine that would be too crazy, but at the same time, this Neo BT here, it ain't cheap. It's about 50 bucks, um, but 
you know, it's a very specific piece of hardware for a very specific function. So I guess that makes sense, you know. And this controller is not too bad. It's like 40 bucks ish or something like that. So it's a hefty price to pay to be able to play your Neo Geo CD on original hardware. But for some people, it might be worth it, which is why I'm highlighting it in this video here. Uh, for the longest time, we didn't really have a good wireless solution for the Neo Geo CD. But now with the addition of this, my setup is that much more accessible now. If I just want to sit down and play some Neo Geo CD, I don't have to pull the controller out of the, out of the protective bag that I have it in, and I don't have to plug it up and worry about these pins getting damaged with that controller extension. I don't have to worry about this thing anymore. You know, like I said, I had one of these and it, it, it was such a bummer when my arcade stick wouldn't work with it. And I still don't have a, a decent solution for that yet. As far as getting my arcade stick to work with it, that's another dream that I'll have to try to investigate and try to figure out a solution for that. If you guys have any information on that, connecting a USB arcade stick to Neo Geo hardware, please link that down in the description below. I'd be very interested to know what you guys think about it and what solutions that you may have that have proven to actually work. All in all, I'm definitely recommending this controller. It's definitely worth the money for the controller alone. If you're just a guy that wants to dabble in some fighting games with a really nice controller that's designed for that style of, of game, then here you go. The 8-Bit Do Neo Geo CD Pad. It's such an awesome controller and they built it really well. Just those minor differences, like the the stick not uh, not getting to the to the click quite fast as the original, um, but like I said, it's definitely something that you can get used to. And uh, you know these Neo Geo controllers, the original ones right here, they're really iconic. They're such a great controller, but they're not getting cheaper, my friend. And uh, I I don't know if if they ever will. I mean, these are great controllers. And they're, they're built very well, but, you know, these clicky sticks will eventually crap out on you. And on this one, this is the, the second controller that I have that I use for Player 2. I've got another one in the other room there. But sometimes these buttons want to kind of stick a little bit. And I'm dreading the day that I'm going to have to open this up to attempt to fix it. Because, quite frankly, I'm really scared about that. You know, I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, at least further than, than it already is, but for now, I can put these controllers away, except when it's time for Player 2 to come over and, and, and jam some fighting games, but um, I can put these safely into their Ziploc bag to keep the dust and dirt and grime and weather away from them, and I can just enjoy my Neo Geo CD with this guy, and uh, I'll have a great time doing that. Like I said, I can go back and forth between the original hardware and some emulation on my PC with this USB dongle, and it's actually a really seamless transition too. So I could be in here with, with this controller on my PC and have it on that 2.4 gigahertz, and then turn everything off, go into the other room, and then flip that switch to the Bluetooth dongle, and it works, man. It's crazy how seamless this transition is, actually. So with this particular controller, it's going to be a little difficult to see with the lighting situation, but you've got these four uh, LEDs down here. And I'm actually seeing the green off camera here, but this lighting is really going to make it difficult for you to see that green that's glowing. You can kind of see it there, but it's searching for... Uh, something to pair with right now. I don't have anything turned on, so it's not going to do that. But um, if you wanted to turn this off to save your battery, you would just hold that start button, I think, for eight seconds, and then it will shut off completely. So that's a nice touch. I know some of these retro bit controllers, like the Sega Saturn one here, um, if you don't input anything for you know five or so minutes, it will just turn off. But if you press start, it'll turn right back on. And it's, it's a really nice uh, seamless connection, so that's pretty cool. I don't believe the 8-bit uh, the do Neo Geo Pad actually does that. I think they want you to manually kind of power it off by holding that start button, which is totally fine. Uh, the battery life so far is actually pretty great. Um, I haven't really run into any other issues with this guy. It's a really solid controller. 
really, really love it actually. And it's probably one of my favorite controllers that I've got in my collection and arsenal right now. So can't recommend this guy enough. And super huge thanks to the guys at Stone Age Gamer for this Neo BT. Um, I'm really loving this. This has made all my dreams come true because I was really stressing about uh, potentially screwing up my console and my controllers with that crappy uh, third party controller extension. So now I can safely put that thing away and not have to worry about it because now with this Neo BT, um, it's it's pretty darn seamless. I, I really, really in, enjoy when new technology comes back and revisits old technology and makes it brand new, shiny, and functions better than it ever did. And uh, we're in the future, I guess, at least compared to 1990 we are. So uh, really enjoying my Neo Geo CD with this wireless pad. Very curious to see what you guys think about it. Have you ever had your hands on one of these before if you're thinking about getting one? I know they have several different uh, designs on them with uh, some King of Fighters characters uh, kind of blasted on the front. To be honest, that didn't interest me too well just because I'm so used to the original controller here. And uh, I just wanted it to look like that as much as as much as I possibly could, but uh, I'm super, super glad to have it. There are other designs uh, if you guys want to check that out as well. Uh, thank you to Stone Age Gamer. Thanks everybody for, for checking this video out. I hope it answered some of your questions regarding this controller because for a while there was a lot of confusion with uh, what this would actually work with as far as connecting it to your, your original hardware. So. I hope this clears up any of those questions that you might have had about your setup and what you should do. I know that there are some other solutions coming out soonish this year as far as like a wireless solution for your original Neo Geo hardware. But as of right now, this Neo BT, man, it is, it is the thing to get if you want to connect a controller like this to your Neo Geo CD. Thanks very much for checking out this video. I've got several other reviews of great products like this for your older video game consoles. And you should definitely check that out while you're still here hanging around. I really appreciate the subscriptions. Really appreciate you subscribing and checking out my Patreon. I really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.